Gospel. I'm your talk show host, Gile Scholz, and today in the studio we have Miss Umu Diko from Mali. Miss Umu, how are you? I'm great. It's good to have you. Thank now, you. you are a gospel singer, and I want to ask you, when did you start singing? I started singing when I gave my life to Christ, okay. a letter after, a little after, in uh, 1997. Wow, awesome. And um, what made, like, before you gave your life to Christ, what were you doing? Were you a Christian? Were you, you know? Oh, not at all. I came from an uh, Islamic background, oh, wow. so I was a Muslim before. Awesome. And um, I became sick for uh, a reason unknown till now. Wow. And uh, I gave my life to Christ um, on my hospital bed. Oh, my goodness. And that is a wonderful testimony. And so you are saying that since 1997, when you gave like, your life to Christ, you just you started singing and you just moved into the Christian world. Uh, yes, I moved into the Christian world, uh, a new environment for mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. but I didn't start singing right away. Okay. I was trying to figure out in, in what I just came. Mm -hmm. And um, later after, I realized that I can't uh, just remain in the, in the church. Okay. I can't remain um, in the midst of the people of God just doing nothing. I have right. to do something yes. to uh, show my, uh, my, my appreciation yes. to what Jesus done for me wonderful. and to be grateful. Okay, that is, that is a wonderful testimony. So you were sick and it, was, it, was this a serious illness? Had they given you up or were you, you know, did, what was going on? Um, it started um, for a couple of years. Wow. And um, yeah, I can say that way that uh, at a certain point of time, mm -hmm. the doctors gave up on me and they told my mom that, uh, well, if she can make it up for next year, you'll be very um, blessed. It will be just a miracle. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes when uh, you are your back at the door and yes. you don't know what to do, people uh, cannot help you anymore. No. The only person you have to turn up to is God. Yes. And at that time, I didn't know to who I have to turn to, yes. but um, God sent me pastors mm -hmm. and um, people who had in their heart the ministry of um, going and preach the gospel in hospital, mm -hmm. and it's how I, wow. I got saved. And, and they healed you? Um, I can say Jesus healed me, yes. and they passed through them yes. to release yes. his power. Yes. <laughs> amen, amen. Thank you for sharing such a wonderful testimony with us. So. Um, since, you know, after that time you started singing in church, at what point, do you have an album? Let me ask you first of all. Uh, yes, I just released an album last year, at mm -hmm. the end of last year in December. Oh. Yeah. It has been released in Africa, actually. Oh, great. Uh, in my country, home country in Mali. Great. And a um, couple months later in Ivory Coast. Let me ask you, what inspired you to produce an album? Um, I can say that I have been encouraged mm -hmm. and uh, uh, inspired by um, the, the leadership I was under too. Oh. Uh, I started um, writing songs uh, when I gave my life to Jesus, like, just like a poem. Oh. Um, I used to be a very shy person. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, when I was alone, find myself in my room, or just alone, I just started to write down what he did for me mm -hmm. and the word that was coming in my heart. Yes. And uh, step by step, when I started singing in church and mm -hmm. choir, uh, my pastors, my leadership uh, encouraged me to bring all that words into mm -hmm. songs to be able to bless other people. Wonderful. And, uh, and share my experience. Wonderful. Now, now, which church was this? Um, back home, it was the International Center of Evangelization. Wonderful, wonderful. And are you affiliated with a church down here in the U.S.? Uh, in the U.S., yes, um, uh, with um, Better Days International. Wonderful. And where are they located? Uh, they're located in Maryland, Capitol Heights. Okay, okay, great, wonderful. Now, um, apart from your pastor, as a gospel singer, have you ever, looking at you, I would wonder why isn't she singing a secular song, right? But tell me, 
have you ever had that desire to, to go and sing for the world rather than for Jesus? Uh, you know, when you come from an uh, Islamic background, you, you don't really sing um, uh, for the world, mm -hmm. except if you have been called. Uh, in my country, in my own country, it's more like a certain people um, tri in tribes mm -hmm. that sings, mm -hmm. and uh, we call them uh, in French griot. Okay, like the traditional singers. Exactly. Oh, I see. And when you are not past part of that caste, you cannot sing. Okay. And uh, I'm not part of that caste. Okay. I'm a Fulani, so okay. um, wow. we are more like shepherd. Okay. So, so you're saying that you you come from a breed of people that only sing if they're part of a traditional group. Yes. Okay, and you're not part of that tradition. So no. you have actually gone beyond the norm. I can say so. <laughs> and you went beyond the norm for Jesus. For Jesus. Amen. And you know, when you do when we do things for him, he goes above and beyond for us. But he loved you first before you started loving him. That's right. So since you have started singing have you met people who you've inspired and touched? And what, what is people's responses to your songs? What are they like? Um, in my home country, um, they were, at the very beginning, uh, shocked. Wow. Because it's really unusual. Mm -hmm. um, they were upset, oh. uh, very mad, so um, right. because of my, my roots. Uh -huh. But in the, in the Christian environment, mm -hmm. in the church, they were proud. Wow. So, so it was unusual because of your tribal roots, your tribal background. Yes. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Wonderful. And um, what about nationwide? The other countries you went to, which were not your home countries, how did they welcome you? Well, the the first question they ask whenever I say my name is uh, or my my origins mm -hmm. is like, "You're coming from Mali." And you're not a Muslim, and you're singing for Christ. Yes, um, yes. it's something they cannot link together. Yes. So yes. obviously, uh, it's the open door for me to always share my testimony and how it comes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So. And I'm sure in sharing your testimony, you touch a lot of lives. Well, I hope so. <laughs> no, but like, have you ever, you know, met people who know who you know for a fact have been touched and changed because of you? A um, couple of people, yes, in my home country. Great. Um, and I hope, and I really, it's my desire to start impacting people's lives too okay. uh, here in the U.S. Great. Well, um, we will be right back, and we're going to hear more from our host today, our guest today, Umudiko. My name is Anna Mwalago from Kenya, and you're watching Gospel Now. Welcome back to African Gospel. I'm your talk show host for today, Gile Shows, and today we have with us gospel singer all the way from Mali, Miss Umu Diko. Welcome, Miss Umu. How are you? I'm blessed and high favor, thank you. Great. Now, oh, you are from Mali. And That's right. I know Mali is a highly dominated country, you know, of Muslims. How did you come about to be a Christian gospel singer? <laughs> Very great question. I was actually a Muslim. Oh, oh wow. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I was born in a Muslim uh, family, uh, deep rooted. Wow. And uh, I was myself a Muslim until uh, I got my 17 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I gave my life to Christ in the hospital, on my hospital oh. bed. Mm -hmm. I was uh, badly sick. Mm -hmm. And um, at a certain point of time, doctors gave up on me. Oh. They told my mom, um, there's nothing we can do with that child. We tried everything. We don't know what she has, mm -hmm. but we know that there is nothing we can do, basically. And at that point, uh, God shows his mercy on me. Mm -hmm. um, I've been reached by people who are uh, going through hospital to minister to um, hopeless cases. Wow. And they came in my hospital room, they preached me the gospel, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I gave my life to Christ after he healed me. 
Wonderful. So you mean on that day when they prayed for you, you were healed? I was healed just after the prayer, actually. My goodness. Wow. Yes. That is an awesome testimony. Now, how did your family react to your healing? You know? I, you know, I'm a firstborn of a member of three children. Mm -hmm. And uh, my father, my mother, when I got healed, they were excited. Okay. They were happy. They were truly happy to have their daughter back. Okay. Um, later on, when they realized that um, I decided and I make a choice, a personal choice to mm -hmm. follow Jesus, to become a Christian, uh, because I received some answers of my uh, personal question to God, mm -hmm. um, my father started reacting. And um, he started beating us, wow. my mother, my sister, myself. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he cast us out from the house. Mm -hmm. uh, we went through a really rough time so you at that point. for Jesus. Uh, my mother got divorced because of her faith. Mm -hmm. um, we, it was really hard, but you know, uh, when you know what you have founded, mm -hmm you can go through it with no, him. So let me ask you, so you are saying that when you accepted Christ on your sickbed, you had to accept Christ, acknowledge him in your heart, know that indeed he is the savior, and accept the faith and hope of that prayer, and then you got healed, right? No, not really. Actually, they, they present me Christ, they present me what he came for mm -hmm. um, to save us from our sins, to mm -hmm. reconcile us with God, and um, to share his blood for our sickness, mm -hmm. our disease, our cursed, everything. And um, I was uh, shaken because I was really um, uh, searching God in my own religion. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is not a religion. Mm -hmm. Um, you have to experience him. It's a man. Mm -hmm. Is the the son of God, God Himself. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't give my life just after they preached to me. Okay. They had to pray for me, and it's when I saw the miracle happening in my body, yeah. I realized that there's something going on in that room. Amen. And uh, later on, I gave my life to Christ. Now, at, at what point did your mom and sister accept Christ? Because it looks like after looking at the miracle that took place in your life, they realized that he is a living God. <laughs> he, he is, you know, he's Indeed. just so awesome. Indeed. Um, my mother, you know, I was a very um, quiet child. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, um, I was not getting along with my mom because I was mm -hmm. on my... Uh, 17 mm -hmm. and um, you know that age yeah. how people can be yeah. um, she was just looking at me and observing the changement in mm -hmm. my character mm -hmm. I was not arguing anymore mm -hmm. I was not like always uh, um, contesting her mm -hmm. stuff like that mm -hmm. and I started attending church they were just surprised they were just looking at what is going on in that child's life mm -hmm. and later on she has been touched I didn't even say anything she just has been touched and she gave her life to Christ a couple months later. My sister just followed and uh, trouble started. <laughs> wow, wonderful. That, that is a wonderful testimony for Christ. And you, you have never regretted that you never turned back. Never ever. Great. So at what point did you actually start singing? Uh, when I gave my life to Christ, I entered in a new environment. I mm -hmm. entered in a... Uh, in church, mm -hmm. um, I've never did that before. So I started observing in what kind of environment I came in. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at everything around me and I was like, Jesus gave his life for me. He gave his 100%. Mm -hmm. I have to give him my 100%. Great. I can't just yes. sit down in church and not doing anything mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. So I started joining the choir uh, I find myself started singing for the very first time, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, it started just little by little, step by step, right. and um, 10, 15 years later, 
an album yeah, has are. been released. Yeah, we are. Wonderful. And so, um, when did you release your album? Is this your first album, may Very I ask? Very first album. Great. And what is the name of this album? In French, it's Confitoire l'Eternel. Mm -hmm. In English, I will translate in tr Put Your Trust in the Lord. Okay. And wh when did you release it, you said? Uh, last December 2011, at the end of the year. Okay. In, in which country? Um, the album has been released in Mali, in my home country. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go back and tell them, hey, um, I cannot give up on Jesus. I'm back, and I'm back with something to his own glory. Wonderful. And a couple months later, it has been released in Ivory Coast. So how did your country welcome that gospel music coming from you? Um, well, I can say, of course, um, church members mm -hmm. and the church attending, everybody was so proud and so happy uh, to see that, okay, she 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 hold on on Jesus yeah. all this time we thought that she, she she will she would have given up on him at a certain point of time but mm -hmm. she didn't so they were very happy and what about the Muslim community and your father well actually the first person who received my album was my father <laughs> wow. when I came back to Mali I went straight to his house I said daddy I'm back I'm back and I made an album for the glory of God and this album, I want to dedicate it to you, to all those people uh, who don't know about Jesus or barely know about him, but people who really are looking for God and real answers. Mm -hmm. I want you to be saved. And that's why this album has been dedicated to you. Amen. And I want you to listen to it, to listen to the words and uh, hopefully you'll be touched. Amen. And, and has he been saved? Has, did, I mean, sometimes people are so deep-rooted into the things they do, and they, in a little tiny corner of their hearts, they may want to come back, or you would see signs of them maybe visiting a church, or maybe you'll see him praying in, out of Jesus' name. So has this, how has this affected him, his spiritual being? Um, you know, um, uh, he's still a Muslim. Mm -hmm. But I trust that word uh, on the scripture which says, I will save you, you and your family. Yeah. And I hold on to that word. Yeah. I don't know um, where is Chen according to uh, that album. I know he has the city, I know he's listening to him, mm -hmm. and I know God is working. Um, now, if he has been saved or not, for now, I will just want to believe that God is working in his heart. Yeah. Yes. And it will come to it pass. Will come. Amen. Amen. So, um, another question for you. Sure. We know that you went to Mali and released this album. Right. How did the country, like, look at you? You're Fulani. Yes. Right? And you're singing gospel. And is it something that's common in your country? Not at all. I, I, I'm not a part of that tribe. Uh, <laughs> Who sings? Did they did they welcome your album? Did they show up at the release? Was it something that was a news? You know, was it all over the news, or were people just talking about this and God's glory in your life? People were talking. Yes. People were talking. People came mm -hmm. and they really attended the release. Yes. But just by curiosity, mm -hmm. um, in the first place, mm -hmm. they want they wanted to know. Well, she's a Fulani. She's not coming from that tribe who sings. They, she does not have any ability to sing. Mm -hmm. Obviously. And uh, we want to know what, she's, she, what she has done. Yeah. And um, I, I didn't propose to sing in my own language, mm -hmm. uh, using our own instruments, mm -hmm. uh, our own rhythm, yes. so that they can know that, OK, music has been created by God. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was uh, aimed to be directed through him, first mm -hmm. of all, mm -hmm. so we can touch people uh, no matter the kind of music you're doing, yes. it's the spirit which is behind. Yeah. They came, they were very glad to, to see that, okay, she's not singing in French only, she's not singing in English, she's singing in our language. So mm -hmm. they can identify themselves to what I was saying. Sing. Yes. And I think they were blessed. Wonderful, wonderful. And do you have a message for our viewers out there about your album and what you expect for them to receive when they hear your songs? 
Um, for those who are Christian already, uh, I pray that uh, listening the words, uh, the lyrics of uh, the songs will bring them to reach uh, their next level mm -hmm. in their relationship with God. Mm -hmm. uh, receive comfort, mm -hmm. received uh, uh, answers mm -hmm. to a situation or circumstances people are going through. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when you accept Jesus in your life, uh, it's not always pink and blue. Uh, have been beat it up, have been cast out from my family, my mother got divorced. Um, I went through a lot, mm -hmm. but he has been faithful all the way, Amen. all the way, and he's still faithful today. Mm -hmm. And it's what I want to bring as a message to those who are Christians. Mm -hmm. You can make it. Even through rough time, even through the storm, there is a time when God is raising up and fighting for you, your battles. Amen. For those who are not Christians, I just want to tell them that um, one day we'll have for all of us mm -hmm. to face God. Uh, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done, you will have to face God for your own life. Mm -hmm. Nobody will stand next to you. And it's what I say to my daddy when um, he cast me out. Mm -hmm. I say, you know what? When, if you can tell me today, if you died, I will enter in the grave with you. Well, I will surely get back to, uh, to Islam. Mm -hmm. But if I have to stand in front of God, for my own life, mm -hmm. let me do my own and personal decision. Mm -hmm. And one day, anybody, everybody will have to do that decision. Mm -hmm. And I pray that everybody can be on the right side, okay. the side of Jesus. Great. Well, Ms. Umujiko, I want to say a big thank you for coming to African Gospel and blessing us with your testimony thank and you your wonderful you. voice. Thank you. Thank you. Je suis à 
toi Il est mon alpha Il est mon oméga Il est mon commencement, ma fin, mon milieu Seigneur, je suis à toi Il est mon alpha Il est mon oméga Il est mon commencement, ma fin 